Advent is a joyous occasion, but with the arrival of a newborn also come some major adjustments. Among them, a lack of sleep. Amanda Becker highlights a newborn care service helping families make the transition into parenthood during the all-important fourth trimester. <laughs> Yes. Stephanie Boyd is waking up four-month-old Cameron for the day. <laughs> Look at that face. She prepares his bottle and changes his diaper before feeding him breakfast. Oh, yes. Are you ready to eat? She's been doing this since the day he came home from the hospital. Sometimes you need an extra set of hands. I do want to wear this so you can be nice and cozy. Stephanie is a night nurse, and Cameron is just one baby she provides overnight care to. Here we go. She's also the co-founder of Swaddled Newborn Concierge, along with her longtime friend, Erica Steinbauer. As we know, parents are faced with sleep deprivation, um, mental health issues, and it's just, it's tough to take care of a baby sometimes. Um, so there was definitely a need, which is why we decided to um, open Swaddled. Are you hungry? Stephanie and Erica yeah. see the importance of having as many resources as possible for new parents especially during that fourth trimester when baby comes home for the first time. That's how babies are colicky and they cry a lot and you can't get them to sleep and you and dad are switching off and you're not getting any sleep so then both of you are sleep deprived. It's a service that celebrities have been using for years, but they want to bring it into homes right here in Milwaukee. I have actually been doing this type of work for the past 10 years all over the U.S. So I was out in California, I was in Minneapolis, in these big cities, and I came back to Wisconsin. I realized that there wasn't a service like this in the Milwaukee area. More sleep can mean a clearer head and a more productive day, whether it's staying home with baby or going back to work. Society makes you feel like, especially in America, like you should be able to do everything and you've got it. And that's just not the case. And it doesn't make you a bad mom or a bad dad if you can't handle it, um, but it really does take a village. A village that they recognize not everyone has. How did Emily and Dan find your service? Yeah, so they're actually from Chicago, so they're new to this area. Um, they had a sister, Emily's sister, had actually used an overnight night nurse back in Chicago, so they knew that it existed. Swaddled has a team of 10 nurses that will come spend the night. They're all uniquely trained, from postpartum doulas to registered nurses. They sleep in the same room as the baby, and they wake up for all those middle of the night diaper changes and feedings. Some people don't realize until like a month into it, and then they call frantically saying like, I'm going back to work next month, and I'm not sleeping, and it's really hard. Some parents know they're not going to do well on little to no sleep, but others call in a pinch. It's got to be really helpful, especially when it is your second child. Yes, exactly. A lot of parents tell us, we wish we would have done this with our first child. We wish we would have known about this sooner. You want to see Mama? While their services run families about $30 an hour, say good, Mama. How did you do? It's invaluable to some, especially those going through it for the first time. This is how we swaddle a baby. This is why we suggest a sound machine and things like that and really give them the knowledge to make them feel more comfortable and to make it an easier and um, enjoyable fourth trimester. Many of the nurses, like Stephanie, have been through it personally and know the struggles all too well. I had my daughter and I just realized, like, it does take a village. I had my husband, I have all my family nearby, and it's still, I felt alone sometimes. Hi, Say thank you, Stephanie. They want to be there for moms, even if it means just sitting by their side until the sun comes up. It feels surreal.